Welcome to episode 35 in Watch Me Suck at Minecraft. This is the second episode that is in 1920 1080 high definition. Recorded 1600 by 900 because that is as high as my laptop's uh, you know, display is allowed. So here's something to notice right here in the corner. 1.3.1. That means, yes, we can now explore again. And I found out Extreme Hills Biomes has the emerald ore and any deserts I haven't fully explored and any jungles I haven't fully explored may have temples within. And as we said, we're going to explore. We're going to sort of do that while gathering resources by clearing the way for a road. So here we are now. And this is the map. Watch, we suck it. Minecraft, birthday seed. Here we go. And the seed appears now. So this will be day 103. And I don't know what happened here. Okay, something weird happened. I think there might be a bug in the save states or something. Because I don't, definitely don't remember that being where that was. Alrighty. Either that or I goofed. So first, before we even go, we got sticks, so we're bypassing the table. What we want to do is... Make ourselves hatchet and another hatchet. Put that over there. And of course, as you may know if you've seen the previous episode, this is now recorded with fraps. So now it's in HD. I can double tap to run and my guy will actually run. Which it did not do in Hypercam, which was where the crappy 480p video was recorded in. We can now trade with villagers. Thing is, apparently there's only one villager that survived this during the whole time, so all this additional work I did is probably pointless. And another thing we got to do, as I do consider it somewhat important, is figure out where the road is. It's right there. And we'll go this way. Trying to make sure that we keep everything nice and straight. Jump over the sheep. And we got pigs. Chop down any trees that are in the way. It may not be a perfect system. we're going to try and do here. Uh, since we're nearby. Oh, no wonder I can't run. Oh no. Things are already backfiring. Oh boy. I'm going to leave those pigs alone. Yep. Plans have already backfired. Pretty much like anything else I do. Plans predominantly fail. So much for that. 
Well, you so said we're going to keep those other pigs alive. We're going to need them. And over here in the new smith shop, which we'll never see real light of day. Oh, we got two. While we... Okay, let's use something that's not going to take up a ton of space. Alright, what we'll do now is we'll throw the seed in here. Alrighty, let's throw the seed down. We lost another plot of land. Trying not to jump on these plots because then I have to retill and I don't have anything to retill with. That's okay. I'm gonna put that there. Good. That'll work. And while we're at it, okay, get always aim away. We never do because it's just something I don't think of. All right, now let's get our adventure underway here. Okay, here's where the road is. Let's try this again. Alrighty, let's get ourselves another one of these. Oh look, chunk failure. Great. Let's take the single player system that worked perfectly fine and Let's turn it into multiplayer. Let's fail a low chunk fest. Okay. Ooh, ouch, that hurts. Cave and charcoal. Then we're going to ditch the saplings because that's not our point here. Well, apparently there's a desert biome, did I see? And it was within eyeball distance. Look at that. Good enough. What we'll do now is we'll ditch those. We ain't going to need them. Put this here, that there. And we can't merge that with anything, so. Let's explore this desert. Oh, oh we made it. Well, that desert wasn't far away. 
And since we haven't gone this far, we perhaps might not have spawned any chunks that might contain something new for us. So we got to explore, see what we get. Possibly a village nearby. Oh, we see a jungle that's half formed over there. Exploration is fun. Good thing about the desert is it's easy to see stuff. Oh, we got a winter. We got a winter biome. We definitely want some of that wood. Remember, we got a beam in our shelter that would look a lot better if we used this dark stuff. So let's go get some of that dark wood. Wait a minute. I think that's regular stuff. Yeah, that's regular crap. I don't want that. I want this stuff. And then what we want... We want to drop a sapling so we can bring it to our tree farm. I think I heard one drop. Yep, and we got at least one. It's raining. Oh, crud. Okay. Alright, that's... Oh, good. Let's... Let's drop the item we want. There. And then let's mess up our... Con see some zombies. Okay, move. Oh crap, a creeper. Ah, damn it. Not good. Oh, got a creeper. Oh, we got a skeleton. We got a pig. We got a pig. Crap. Run. Oh, this is not good. We are so close.
You're so close. Safe. Wow. That was dangerously close. There, now we'll reform a little bit. That did not go well at all. If it could go wrong, it certainly did. Now we got a spruce sapling, which we want. While we're at it, let's break these down. Go upstairs and replace that beam. See, that beam doesn't quite match. So what I'm going to do is... Do it the slow route. Yeah, see how it matches a lot better? Okay, what am I stumbling on? Okay. There, now we got a beam that matches. And that doesn't look quite as odd. Alrighty, what else do we have for food? Bread. Well, we're gonna have to waste one. That's only because we gotta regenerate the health. Also, some of the new things that are in this game is when you smelt items, i.e. put them in the oven, you get ore. I gotta always check to see if I left anything in, and I didn't. You get experience for it. So that's new. Okay, we goofed one of the steps, so we're going to fix that. There. Those stairs were messed up and I have no idea how that happened. One thing I'm not a fan of is the new gravel texture. It makes the cobblestone and gravel look too much alike. Not a fan. Now we can put something over there. I was thinking not to continue this, but in reality, that goes against the original concept that this is a blast wall. It's not an actual structure. Oh no, boy, I forget. Now, now it matters which way you're facing when you plop wood down. See, now it's not going to do it the way I want. very hard to do it the right way now. And even though it seems rather dumb, that's the way it goes. Okay, something went wrong. 100% sure what.
it's still not producing the right results. I am not a big fan of how these work. There we go. Oh, that's what happened. I was wondering where that mystery plunk came from. There it is. Let's plop that in. Let's put that away. And let's... Okay, I did not ask for a change there. Okay, that's not the way I want to go. I don't do these as frequently as I used to. I should keep them up. Alright, day 104. Actually, it'll be shorter if I go this way. Six. All right, let's go back and continue with what we were attempting to do to an extent. I want to bring the pigs at least this far. way out. We can interact. See? If we had an emerald, we can get three loaves of bread. And that's not a good trade. Alright. Yeah, there are the pigs we were trying to get over to the farm. Makes me wonder if there's a village out here, too. So that villager is way beyond his house. So let's see what we can find. Yeah, I'm thinking most of this desert, whatever spawned, already spawned. Now I can give ourselves bread. And explore this end of everything. Sometimes exploration isn't the f most fun thing, but every now and then, something good might happen. You know what I find interesting about this 1.3 update is, on this laptop, my overall frame rates actually have gone up. I mean, with 
1.2, 1.2.5. The best frame rates I were getting were like 50 to 60 frames per second. Keep in mind that this laptop is almost a couple years old. So, this thing is pretty on, much on the high end of when I got it in terms of store-bought. And now it averages, if I'm not frapsing like I'm doing now, it actually averages about, I'm trying to remember, 60 to 70. Although every now and then I get spikes up to like 90. On original store-bought hardware. Okay, I'm still puzzled as to why villagers are coming out this far. If there ain't a village out here. Boy, this desert goes out. And of course, the nice thing about Fraps is all the audio from the game is coming from the computer hardware itself, not through the computer speakers. So you're getting the full fidelity. Uh oh, oh, that wasn't good. There's a lot of desert hills here. see all these hills but oh then we get another plane thing is right now we want to sort of head back the way we came although we'll head back facing this way Regular force that way. And I'll wait till we get there. Come in. Okay, I see the winter biome where we came from. Okay, this is where we I believe we came from here. Uh-oh. I think I might have got myself lost. It is well, there's a couple of ways to tell if we're heading the right way or not. And we'll do that right about here. One is to look which way the clouds are moving. Second way is to look at which direction the sun is pointing. That is west. Or theoretic theoretically that's west. So we want to go this way, which is roughly where the base is.
Here's a piggy. And I lost the pig. All right, now we need to get home. Oh, crud, I don't know where I'm at. This is not good. Got a lot of construction material. like how things are going. Come on, pick it up. Where am I? I got lost. Crap. I don't know where I'm at. This is not good. I totally got lost. E P I C fail. Oh boy. swim underwater. Oh, getting a little look at the land. And because, as we remember, this show is called Watch Me Suck at Minecraft, we might have to do something that pretty much shows that I'm really terrible at finding my location. We might have to use what some people refer to as GPS mode. To find our way back. I honestly am wanting to try to do this on my own, but it's one thing I'm not too good with exploration is that I wind up getting lost very easily. I 
And I'm not sure where I'm at. And I do know the moon sets that way. There's a skeleton there. Oh, I really, really lost. I don't have any true hint as to where I'm at. At least we're getting some scenery as we attempt to find our way back. Okay, that's a winter biome. I have a feeling that we're going too far that away. Let's get some zombie flesh while we're at it. Since we're at a peninsula where we can see everything. Hi. Come here. I'm over here. Locate some of this stuff. And let's head back the way we came. Hey, we got something accomplished. We we replace that regular beam with the uh, spruce, is it? Oh, eh, I forget what the dark colored pine trees. Well, that's what we call them around here. I have a feeling it's somewhere in here we go back in. And we don't have any... Oh yeah, we do have dirt.
Hi, Creeper. Oh, you're not interested, Creeper? In this new version, seems to be really dumb. Yeah, it seems the intellect ain't too bright. All right, day one oh five. Okay, this looks like a river. Which means... If it goes where I think it does... We'll soon see exactly where we came from. And we won't have to use the quote-unquote GPS mode. As it's jokingly referred to as. And what am I referring to? I'll show you if I have to use it. Because I'm hoping I don't have to. But if half the day is up and I can't find where I'm supposed to be, then... Yeah, then it's time to use GPS mode. And as I always say, remember the name of the show, Watch Me Suck at Minecraft. Which means exactly that. I'm not good at it. some interesting land and it's getting really jerky all of a sudden ah, there we go you won't see it because to save space on my uh, limited volume hard drive this is recorded at 15 frames per second that and it helps keep the resources open for actual gameplay all right, there's that winter biome again. So I can't be heading the right way. Oh, dear. Ow. fully restored. Trying to find my way back. And I'm not doing a good job at it. Wait a minute. Is this the same pumpkin patch as before? No, it ain't. I wish I made compasses. Uh, was that from being around here before? I don't know. I'm completely lost. Boy, this episode really turned out to be nothing. Okay, I need to move. I need to move. Okay. Yep, we're gonna have to do GPS mode. Shift F3. Alright. Now I'm looking at my X and Z numbers, which are on the far left. So I'm doing right now is K 
Okay, that's going away. So I want to go this way because I want to try to get closer to zero. And as I said, remember the name of the show, watch me suck at Minecraft. And that frame rate that you see above is artificially low because of fraps. And I'm HDing it. And we can't run anymore. I know we don't spawn at a perfect zero point, but what this does is it gets you pretty much within the ballpark of where you were. Okay, we need to move. We need. Okay, we need to move. That's all I care about right now. I think this is starting to look a little familiar. Oh. Now we know we got to go more this way because the X is pretty close to zero. Okay, we need to move our player. And we'll look at what we found here. We found our road system. So we can turn our GPS off by hitting Shift and F3. Yay. I do suck at Minecraft. Or I have to do that to find my way home because I don't have a compass. Brilliant strategy. Well, the important thing is we found our way back home before it was too late. And that we can't accomplish a single thing. So what we want to do now is find those pigs again, and that was one of our objectives, to get them over. Oh, look at that. I just want to see something. I'm not going to go super far again. Well, what do you know? We do have villagers. What I'm going to try to do is push this guy over to his village. He's too far out. Hey, what the hell are you doing? You gotta go that way. Your village is that way. You guys need to mate over there. Yeah, move. Okay, need to move. Want you. 
you. But we do want you. Oh boy. Oh, you don't want to... No, nobody cooperates. Well, this is a wasted episode, pretty much. Okay, I need to move our player. the door. Uh, we don't have food. Okay, we gotta always look away, and I never do. Alrighty. Let's get at least something done around here. Now we got this wonderful log format I'm not that big of a fan of. There, that's actually pointing the right way. So as we remember, this is supposed to be the main structure. And the stone is the blast wall. So let's at least get something accomplished. Three and here. It's nice to know you can lay the logs in any given direction, but is it worth the frustration, really? Nope. Pain in the butt now. Oh, that's wrong answer. Again. <sighs> Just get at least this much done. Uh. 
new placement. It's going to be a thorn in my side. Okay, that's going to be in the way. Finally. Hey, we got a floor almost done here. Just got to line up here. A made this major pain in the ass now. There we go. There, we got a side done. We can get rid of this column that I don't really need. Let's head down one. Wrong answer. And the day's pretty much up. It went the wrong way again. I really do not... I really despise the way they do this now. I really, really don't like it. I know what the intent is, but it causes more problems than, than it solves. percent wrong. That is not the answer. <sighs> Why can't we just plop the thing the way I want it? I am so... I am so not the fan the way this works now. I really don't like it. totally doesn't work. I can't lay. Whoops. That's too far. And Alrighty, that's the end of this episode of Watch Me Suck at Minecraft, and I really proved that today by using quote-unquote GPS mode to find my way back home after getting lost because I cannot keep track of myself, and I forget to use a compass, so that's days 103, 104, 105. This is Georgia551 saying I hope you enjoyed everything that went horribly wrong, especially this really crappy log placement concept. Have a good one.